from uh, Brian Alpha Bowl with David Cameron. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Um, just give me your impressions of your first game here in Colorado after you know, being in another school for so long. And, and, uh, and then the second part of that, just can you assess how you felt the offensive line did in that first game? I think for five men that were brought together in the matter of time that we were, um, the continuity and the chemistry, the, how fast it's flowing and connecting is pretty impressive. I think Coach Phil and Coach Gunner and Coach G are pushing to limit every day and making sure we're um, A1 on our calls and know who's thinking what. So it's just, it's just flowing good. And I think Coach Prime really, really makes practice feel like a game. So compared to my other school, you know, you kind of had to do extra conditioning and stuff. But Coach Prime, the intensity of the practice is it kind of makes the game more easier conditioning wise. But offensive line, I think that was a good game to light the spark for the season for sure. And just you personally, like what was it like just playing in a new uniform finally? Oh, I mean, it was beautiful. I think those are the most nicest uniforms I've ever put on in my life. <laughs> but, uh, it felt like a blanket almost, but it was cool seeing the crowd sold out and everyone's supporting. It's a real atmosphere being here. Hey, Justin, Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. You obviously lined up uh, next to Jordan Seaton throughout the game. Uh, what did you make of his first collegiate game and how do you feel like he handled things throughout the game? Oh, that's my little brother. Um, I think he's learning he's fast. Um, he's very mature for his age. I feel like it's it's fun playing next to him. Uh, he's, he's, it's really exciting, so it's cool. I think the combinations we have are so unique, and I think that helps um, us play effectively as a unit, for sure. Riley, go ahead. Hi, Justin. Ryan Skulls from Ralphie Report. Last season against Nebraska, Coach Prime's message to the team was, it's personal. It's personal. Is that carrying over to this year? Are you feeling that same way heading into a big rivalry game on the road? Yes, sir. I feel like every week is personal, especially this one. Um, it's a bigger game because it's rivalry week, but we want to attack every game like it's rivalry week. Um, Nebraska out here is going to be sold out and all these things, but that stuff doesn't phase us. Um, we practice hard. We have the crowd noise going, so I think Coach Prime is getting us prepared for, the, for a great game this, this upcoming Saturday. What's up, Justin? Your former teammates played against them <laughs> last week. Were you able to uh, get any insight from them about what that game was like? Uh, it's a whole new team over there now. I think I only know one person um, on that team. But uh, I watched them. It was kind of crazy. It's like my old team playing them, but uh, I, I, can, I can only say so much about that. But it was cool. I, I learned a lot. Uh, it's just crazy how it works out. My last school I was at, and then now I'm playing them, so it's, it's kind of funny. But. But I picked up some things. I texted a few of the guys. They gave me some insight and some of the D linemen and stuff. So it's good. Go ahead, man. Justin, without getting too specific, watching the game last week, I mean, you got a couple of really big dudes on that defensive line. What have you seen out of Nebraska's defensive front? Uh, I gave it to them. I think their their game on both sides of the ball is really their trenches, probably O line and D line for them. Uh, we know their personnel. We're setting them pretty hard. So I'm not really worried about the size as long as we rely on our technique. And be aggressive. Well, I think we should be good. Justin, last week you guys were able to pass the ball a lot in that passing game. We're super efficient. Do you see anything changing this week? And you guys plan on running the football and really using that offensive line? Oh yes, sir. I feel like we can do both. We can pass and run. I feel like the the play calls and the system we have this year really opens us up to do that. Um, of course, we want Shador to throw for ten thousand, and we want our running backs to get you know a thousand yard rusher. So. I think as we as the games go on, it's going to get easier and easier, and uh, I'm excited for this week. John Treach, KUSA. As an offensive lineman, crowd noise can be a factor. They're calling it maybe the most rabid crowd in a couple decades at Memorial Stadium next on Saturday. How do you prepare for that? I think this is what everyone wants to play college football for. We play in the biggest games, the biggest stages, the most fans. Uh, most people watch it on TV. I think it's just the, the platform that we all want to be on. Um, I think the fans is, you can use it to your advantage. You know what I mean? You can silence the crowd when you're running down the down their throats and scoring. That's what we want to do. Um, but the, the fans, we're not, we're, we're not worried about it. I think it just uh, hype us up a little more. I think it's, it'll be good for sure. Go ahead. Hey, Justin, Packer, and so um, Last couple of years, they've had overhaul. <coughs> kind of better protection duo and jump start the offense. I guess, how do you, we talk about you know cohesion and, and building that trust with each other. How, how do you go about that? Maybe are, are there some ways you do off the field that you guys become a better <coughs> Oh, yes, sir. I think it's one, they got a great group of guys, including myself. Um, we're all just real people, and I think the chemistry is real. It's not forced or fake, so I think that's why it's connecting so quick. I think it was hanging, off, hanging out outside the field helps as well, and knowing who's, who likes what and what gets who going and so stuff like that. But I think, like you said, uh, the chemistry and doing this off the field kind of helps as well, for sure.
Okay, you go ahead. Nick Edwards, you sports reporter. When you go back and watch the film against North Dakota State, you look at the line. Are there any elements of improvement, and what do you feel like you really did well in a near game? I feel like you can always improve. I mean, for the first game as a unit, um, I think it was like a couple of pressures I heard and one sack. The goal is to have no sack a game. Uh, compared to last year, I know it's like night and day. I've heard compared to the old line, but we're not worried about last year. We're worried about this year and uh, setting the tone. So I feel like even just having one sack was kind of punched to the chin a little bit. So including myself, just studying our plays, practicing our technique, um, working on pass pro and finishing in the run game is what helped us all out, including myself. Hey Justin, um, getting the opportunity to play in these huge games against Nebraska, just how, how much of a factor does that play in your decision to come to Colorado? Uh, there's a lot of factors that play to come to Colorado. I mean, who wouldn't be here? Who wouldn't want to be here? I mean, the NFL experience, um, the how real they keep it, how, how much they want you to be a better player on the field and a better man off the field, and just being on a big stage. And, you know, as an offense line, we normally don't get any hype for it. No one really knows about you, which is, which is a good thing until you get a penalty, and then everyone knows about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, I mean, being here is just a great fit. Shador is a great guy. I think as soon as I hit the First day at the portal, he called me like five times. I didn't even know it was him calling me. So it's just, just the camaraderie we have. It's it's a great feeling to be here. So I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Anything else for Justin? All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, Justin. Thank you. Probably a few minutes before.